children of God, fold to your heart each other. Where pity dwells, the peace of God is there. To worship light rightly is to love the other. Each smile a hymn, each kindly deed a prayer. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Let us pray. Infinite and eternal God, in whom we live and move and have our being, we offer and present ourselves, all that we are and have, our thoughts and desires and our words and our deeds, to be a living and continual sacrifice. And as by grace alone we are drawn into your service, strengthen us by your Spirit and make us worthy of your call through Christ our Lord. God of peace, good beyond all good, in whom is calmness and concord, send the dove of your spirit, make up the dissensions which divide us from one another, and bring us into unity of love in thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigning with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Today we gather during the week of prayer for Christian unity as expression of that desired unity we participate in a service prepared by the sisters of the community of Grandchamp in Switzerland its theme is abide in my love and you shall bear much fruit they and we begin it is the great desire of God expressed by Jesus that we might come to him and abide in him. He awaits for us tirelessly, hoping that, united to him in love, we will bear fruit that will bring life to all. Faced with our differences, we risk withdrawing into ourselves and seeing only that which separates us. But let us listen to how Christ calls us to abide in his love and so bear much fruit. In three moments of prayer, we remember the call of Christ. We turn to his love, to him who is the centre of our life. For the path of unity begins in our intimate relationship with God. Abiding in God's love strengthens the desire to seek unity and reconciliation with others. God opens us up to those who are different from us. This is an important fruit, a gift of healing for the divisions within us, between us and in our world. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are the vine dresser who cares for us with love. You call on us to see the beauty of each branch united to the vine, the beauty of each person. And yet, too often the differences in others make us afraid. We withdraw into ourselves. Our trust in you is forsaken. Enmity develops between us. Come and direct our hearts towards you once again. Grant us to live from your forgiveness so that we may be together and praise your name. Lord, you call us to be praised in the midst of the earth. Glory to you. We sing your praise in the midst of the world and among all peoples, in the midst of creation and among all creatures. Lord, you call us to be praised in the midst of the earth. Glory to you. We sing your praise among suffering and tears, among promises and achievements. Lord, you call us to be praised in the midst of the earth. Glory to you. We sing your praise in the places of conflict and misunderstanding, 
in places of encounter and reconciliation. Lord, you call us to be praised in the midst of the earth. Glory to you. We sing your praise in the midst of rifts and divisions, in the midst of life and death, of birth, of a new heaven and a new earth. Lord, you call us to be praised in the midst of the earth. Glory to you. Amen. Firstly, we meditate on abiding in Christ, the unity of the whole person. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are far above the earth, so great is his love toward those who are in awe of him. So far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who are in awe of him. For he knows how we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, they flourish like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it and it is gone. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, and his righteousness to children's children. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. From the beginning of the 15th chapter of St. John's Gospel. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If one does not abide in me, that one is cast forth as a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has none than this, than that he laid down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, 
and I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give it to you. This I command you to love one another. Amen. Let us pray. God of love, through Christ you said to us, you did not choose me, but I chose you. You seek us. You invite us to receive your friendship and abide in it. Teach us to respond more deeply to this invitation and grow in a life that is ever more complete. For the joy of our heart is in God. God of life, you call us to be praised in the midst of the world and to welcome one another as a gift of your grace. May your loving gaze, which rests upon each person, open us to receive each other just as we are. For the joy of our heart is in God. God, you who gather, you knit us together as one vine in your Son, Jesus. May your loving spirit abide in us at local church and community meetings and ecumenical gatherings. Grant that together we celebrate you with joy, for the joy of our heart is in God. God of the one vineyard, you call us to abide in your love in all we do and say. Touched by your goodness, Grant us to be a reflection of that love in our homes and workplaces. May we bridge rivalries and overcome divisions. For the joy of our heart is in God. So let it be. We turn now to meditate on the visible unity of Christian folk. Psalm 85 Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation toward us. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who are in awe of him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good. Our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Amen. From St. Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth in the first chapter, from the tenth verse. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no dissensions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarrelling among you, my brothers and sisters. What I mean is that each one of you says, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. 
Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptised in the name of Paul? Amen. Truly, there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, you create and recreate the church in all places. Come and whisper within our hearts the prayer which Jesus addressed to his Father on the eve of his Passion, that they may all be one, so that the world may believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, light the fire of your love in us so that suspicions, contempt and misunderstanding cease in the church. May the walls that separate us fall. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, Consoler of all, open our hearts to forgiveness and reconciliation and bring us back from our wanderings. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, give us poverty of spirit so that we may welcome the unexpectedness of your grace. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you never abandon the men, women and children who are persecuted for their fidelity to the gospel. Give them strength and courage and support those who help them. Lord, have mercy. Because the Lord calls us to be united among ourselves, may the peace of Christ be with us all. We now further meditate on the unity of all peoples with all creation. Psalm 96. Oh, sing us to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, he who made the heavens. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Amen. From the Revelation of St. John the Divine, in the seventh chapter, from the ninth verse. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and round the elders and the four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might 
be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. You, Lord, are beyond all things. Let us pray. God of life, you have created every human being in your image and likeness. We sing your praise for the gift of our many cultures, expressions of faith, traditions and ethnicities, for they reflect the richness of your being. Grant us the courage always to stand against injustice and hatred based on race, class, gender, religion, and fear of those not like ourselves. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Merciful God, you have shown us in Christ that we are one in you. Teach us to use this gift in the world so that believers of all faiths in every country may be able to listen to each other and live in peace. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. O oh, Jesus, you came into the world and shared fully in our humanity. You know the hardships of life for people who suffer in so many different ways. May the spirit of compassion move us to share our time, life, goods and skills with all those in need. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Holy Spirit, you hear the fury of your wounded creation and the cries of those already suffering as the climate changes. Guide us toward new behaviours. May we learn to live in harmony as part of your creation. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Amen. At the end of the service, he was weeping. Why not? It was Monday, Thursday, and Peter Abelard's hymn begins. This is the night, dear friends, the night of weeping. It is the night where the prospect of the crucifixion is in front of us. It is the night of the institution of the Lord's Supper, of showing the Lord's death till he come. And we had done that, and done that on Monday, Thursday evening. And so he was weeping. But he was not, in fact, weeping for sadness. He was weeping for joy. There had been worship on the site of the old cathedral for 1,300 years. And for 300 years of that, people of Episcopalian and Presbyterian practice and habit, parties in the church in Scotland had not sat together in that place at the Lord's table. And that night they had, now they had done so. So there were tears of sadness for what had not been, and tears of joy for what now was, and smiles of hope for what might yet be. That Monday Thursday feeling those Monday Thursday tears are a right way for us to feel 
in this week of prayer for Christian unity. Tears of sadness for what has not been for too long. Tears of joy and gladness for what we do together even now. And smiles of hope for what might yet be. The true vine invites us to abide in him as his branches. He calls on us to bear fruit that arises from the sap of his life. The true bread from heaven nourishes us and strengthens us. He calls on us to share wholeness of life with others. The light of the world is at the heart of the universe. The nearer we come to the light, the nearer we come to each other. with the words that Jesus teaches us. Let us now pray together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us leave this time of worship, affirming that spirituality and solidarity are inseparably linked prayer and action belong together. Let us go on into our day, heeding the words that the sisters of the Grand Champ community address to each other day and daily. Pray and work that God may reign. Throughout your day, let the word of God breathe life into work and rest. Maintain inner silence in all things, so as to dwell in Christ. Be filled with the spirit of the Beatitudes, joy, simplicity, mercy. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.